Right, so in this video I'm going to show you uh, a couple of methods for combining shapes as well as how to create more complex dimensionally accurate shapes. Now if I want to combine two squares for example, um, one of the easiest methods I guess is to use the shaper tool. So I'm going to draw a couple of squares that overlap each other and remove the centre. To do that I simply need to just draw the two and then scribble and it'll, it will remove uh, that internal space. So you're just left with that overall shape. Another option which you might need to use in some situations is to use your rectangle tool. I can draw a couple of squares, just rough. Um, let me remove the, um, the fill so you can see them. Alright, so they're the lines that I've got. They're two separate objects at this point. They can be moved around separately. If I want to combine them and remove this internal stuff here, Firstly, I need to select and use the scissors tool, which is a shortcut key of C, to um, just create a couple of cuts there and there where it says intersect. And now, if I use the selection tool, they're actually separate items now. Okay, so I move them back. I want to remove this one. And now, if I want to try and cut here, remove that section. I need to make sure that this path is selected. If I have this path selected, it's not going to work. So I have to make sure this path is selected and then use the scissors tool once again to cut the intersection, cut the intersection, and now I have two separate items. So I then remove that one and I can select both of them right click and join and now they become one. Okay the second main thing I wanted to go through on this video was how to use construction boxes to help you make shapes. Now say if I wanted to make a, a, a tapered shape. Um, I'll draw one rectangle. I can dimension it to say 150 by 50 and then I want another one in between here, let's make that uh, yeah 150 by 25, and I'll just make sure that that's placed in the center, and automatically snaps to the center. Then I could draw a line from there to there, and there to there, and then I'll remove my construction lines. Simply draw a line between the two. Oops. Try that again. And one more time. And draw another line from there to there. Use V to select all of it and join. And there I have a more uh, complex but di uh, dimensionally accurate shape. Now you can obviously do all sorts of different types of shapes using that same method of construction boxes.